apparently there's been this huge backlash from conservatives, particularly conservative men, about how the show is wildly woke. The general premise of the show is post-nuclear warfare fallout, nuclear fallout, of the United States of America 200 years after the nukes all basically destroyed civilization on the surface. And there's an entire population of people that are living underground in vaults where they are essentially waiting it out until it's safe to go up on the surface and repopulate the United States of America. The protagonist character of the series, her name is Lucy McLean. She is awesome, like the definition of a true badass. Before I get into any of the content of the series and why I think it is overwhelmingly one of the best TV shows I've watched in a very long time, in terms of artistic direction, I am blown away how well done this series was. It captures this sense of nostalgia and futurism all at exactly the same time that really hasn't been reminiscent in a series to me since the very beginning of Stranger Things, which captured like the 1980s vibe with a futuristic vibe very, very, very well. A bunch of people came forward right before the series hit streaming services just based on their viewership of the, of the trailer, I guess, people who have been playing the games for a very, very, very long time, claiming that the series adaptation from Amazon was going to be woke. Yahoo Lifestyle wrote about this on April 10th, and they called them Fallout critics who were angered calling the series woke garbage over a single detail in the series. And what is that single detail that made people think this was going to be a woke garbage show? The fact that the main character of the series is a woman, is named Lucy McLean instead of being a man as the main character of a nuclear apocalyptic series. And I haven't played the Fallout video games as of yet, so maybe some of you guys who have played the games can shed some light on this for me, but apparently they were all angry because typically you play the series as a man, but everybody else was responding to this criticism saying that you've always had the choice to play the game as a female protagonist character. So apparently that's what was making everybody so upset. Lucy, the main character, is pictured right here in the series. One person commented on an Instagram post promoting the show, OMG, the sheer wokeness has me triggered, exclamation points everywhere. Somebody else on that same Instagram post said, hopefully this doesn't turn into woke out instead of fallout. Somebody else said, probably going to be woke garbage and this bullshit better not be canon or they've killed the franchise. Another person said, if this is woke, I'm gonna be pissed. She confronted the unfounded criticism surrounding the political narrative of both the game and TV show, asserting Fallout is an inherently political game, emphasizing the game's deep societal analysis. She affirmed the show's commitment to this essence, insisting on maintaining a political narrative akin to the game itself. I really like the mirror it holds up to society, and I really like the comedy. They've managed to nail the tone of the game so well and blend this into the mix of comedy and drama. Regarding the other criticisms, she commended the show's decision to feature a female lead. Although it would seem fitting for writers to center the Fallout TV series around a female protagonist, the show has regrettably encountered an unjustified backlash. Purnell expressed her admiration, saying, I love seeing women in survival dramas and seeing women sort of explore the depths and extent of what they're capable of in desperation, really getting into the nitty gritty of what survival means. You're starving, you're desperate, you're exhausted, you're not in this together, a pretty picture that films originally depicted women as. She pointed out that only recently have women been shown to explore the same emotional depths as men, adding, seeing women to be violent and gory and not shy away from having to make really brutal decisions, anything that's smart and I suppose political in a way, and I think Fallout hits on all of those points. I totally agree with that perspective, and I have a really hard time understanding why having a female protagonist in the series versus a male protagonist is the only predicating feature as to why Fallout would be woke out or be this overwhelmingly woke series based on the gender of the main character. By the way, a binary gender, that's a pretty big win in TV in 2024, rather than the actual substance of the series. The Hunger Games, female apocalyptic protagonist. Stranger Things, female apocalyptic protagonist. 
The Last of Us, arguably could be Joel, but Ellie, female apocalyptic protagonist. And none of those shows, with the exception of one episode of The Last of Us, have ever gotten the same backlash as being automatically woke just because they were made with a female protagonist. This show really got me thinking about what's happening in real time. And it sounds like you guys have a similar thought about all of it. Nitty Witty says, perhaps post-apocalyptic fiction is so popular because with so much going on in current events, it really feels like we are at risk of heading toward an apocalypse. Oof. 